Yo, y'all know what it is, y'all know what it ain't for them. It seems like this shit ain't gonna stop. You hear me? Um, I don't know what's going on. Lil Dirk show love to his block numerous times, but just cause somebody show love to the block don't mean they provide for the block. Um, he just came to the block on 4th of July. I'm pretty sure it was Lamron. I know for a fact that's how they promoted it. Um, Lil Dirk came to the block on the 4th, and ever since he left, it seemed like ever since he came, touched down, and left, it started off with Lamron 300 Marco. He he put some, some words out there against him. Now you got Lamar OJ and a dude named Trigger. They pretty much said, how you on your block, but you ain't been on your block for years? Um, it must be two Lamarons, 300s, I'm confused. And then somebody else said, I think this is Trigger or, or OJ, I can't remember. He said he think he the big dog on his block because he got money. Man. And that kind of take you back to where Lil Durk brought that million dollars on the block. And I brought that up in a video I did previously. And when I mentioned that, I wasn't saying that like Lil Durk brought money to the block. And that's the reason people should respect him because he brought out a million dollars. No, if you're not feeding the wolves, that's just going to make the wolves hungry. And honestly, it seemed like Lil Durk want that same image that King Von had. And when I say that, I don't mean like, yeah, the street shit too. But I mean just far as like a respected member by everybody in your neighborhood. But... Even when Lil Durk had more money than King Von, King Von took his money and went broke trying to feed the hood. That's why he was so respected. And when Lil Durk brought out that million dollars on for a million dollars worth of game, I guarantee you he didn't give out none to the like. I don't want to say to everybody because everybody got their few homies that they rock with, but I'm pretty sure he didn't really pass out money. And I don't want to. You know, just leave that out there for like, oh, dude's supposed to get hand fed and spoon fed. No, that's not true. But when you rap about taking care of your block and all you talk about is paying lawyer fees, but Moop the only one who got a lawyer, regardless of if everybody signed or not. It seems like Honey K Track is the one who provided that lawyer for Moop, not Lil Dirk. So everybody keeps throwing flack at Lil Dirk for not um, getting the whole old block lawyers. But let's talk about how he didn't possibly get anybody a lawyer, if that's true. And if this is true, man, you know, everybody on Lemron seem to be turning against Dirk. Um, and, it, and it don't seem like it's jealousy at all, honestly. Just from on behind the scenes, I'm talking to people. And they actually got a story to tell about why they think Lil Durk is being dissed by his block and these people that's from that area. You know, they don't want to give me too much sauce without me dropping a bag. And you know what I'm saying? I'll be against sometimes paying for interviews. But honestly, when shit like this come about and um, people really want to present their story to the world, I understand why they want to get paid for it. Because this could be a wor ground, this world breaking news, depending on how they want to come about it. And um, the people that I'm talking to behind the scenes, they're credible. I'm not going to do no name drops. But apparently, I don't know. You know, I, I don't want to just speak against Lil Durk because I don't know what the block want from him. He put the whole hood on his back. He did. He clouded Lamron up. He did what he's supposed to do, get his money, make it out. But when you make it out, you're supposed to take care of the people you rap about. And that's what I feel like the, the, the difference is coming from. It's a lot of people that's left behind, and Lil Durk might have been close with them. And the only thing about this when it comes back to that Cairo G Herbo shit is if you rap about taking care of your whole block but you're not actually doing it, then the block got a right to get mad at you. They got a right to get on your ass if you steady screaming out, I do all this for Lamron, they don't want for nothing, but then they really want it for something. And these members, uh, I think it's Lamron OJ, if I'm not mistaken, he really was around Dirk and he was around Fredo. So these real official members, even Marco, they real official members, man. And the fact that they turned against Lil Durk after he left his block showed me that when he came to Chicago, it was some tension that he didn't fix. And now the world's going to know all your dirty secrets, Lil Durk, depending on if these people want to go about it or not. Get in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think below. I'm gone.